Good afternoon on what is a mild overcast day. It is a Monday the 13th of June. I have a nice hot cup of tea. And a parcel to unbox. So to it, grab the knife. Almost there. Not good. Put inside. Uh, I have another little envelope. So, let's see if I can open that without doing too much damage. Um, Just taking a bit longer than I expected. Uh, this has come from um, Germany, so I'm not quite sure what this is. And then one more. There we go. So now I'm back. And what I've got in here is Duff, um, Layer of the go uh, gobbler, um, gobbler Bundle, which is the core rules of Adventure and Patch. I've got two copies of this. Um, and uh, essentially, core rules and a little treasure table. So let's just have a look. So I'll take this off. Just, you can see there's a little band there and it just slides it just slides off there we go so that's actually where the little treasure table is so we've got um, Durf an adventure game for um, an adventure game for brave adventurers and inside doesn't amount to more than a few pages as you can see um, I'll get the short forward and then very quickly we are into how to create a character um, you know you essentially a character's got um, a player character has uh, three abilities strength dexterity and willpower um, and uh, they're essentially rolled on a one, one third, a three sided die so uh, and um, you have hit dice and inventory slots and belongings and um, and you've got a table there for what those belongings might be. Um, and uh, and essentially action rolls the saving throws are really simple. Roll 20 sided dice, add your attribute, 15 or more and you succeed. Um, but, uh, and you see um, and you've got buffs and breaks, and I think buffs, um, you buffs are basically add uh, six sided dice, extra six sided dice to the roll, uh, breaks take them away. I mean, this is just on a first glance, but, uh, and it's using inventory, the inventory system as a means of handling stress because the more stressed you are, the less you can do, the less you can carry, and so on. Maybe it might, like, maybe it might, much like uh, Mass Ritter, Mass Ritter. Um, so you've got a really quick guide to. Essentially, everything in the game on that page is, and this includes things like critical hits, worn weapons, morale, damage, and armor, hit dice, and death, rest, and healing, this sort of thing. Um, that's the core game system in a couple of in, in a couple of pages. After that, um, we have um, spell casting, and you've got a spell casting blunder table, the blunder table, a listing of spells. Equipment, weapons, and armor. Uh, how to classify non player characters. Um, you know, and there's a guide here to um, converting uh, old school Renaissance uh, monsters over to um, Durf. Uh, and you've got some sample uh, NPCs there. 
and break down some magic items and you know obviously the simplicity is, is that you know you've got if you've got a classic Dungeons and Dragons style game on your shelf it's easy to go and get more create more um, grab something from a magazine and, and, and adapt it there's the character sheet very light a lot of um, spaces for the inventory your stats there um, hit dice and wounds keeps it very simple and then uh, what we have too here is uh, layer of the gobbler um, a dungeon for low hit dice adventurers one to two hit dice um, okay nice clean illustration on the on the front uh, and then inside we have the locations um, nice little clear map it's not a huge huge dungeon but I mean it should occupy a couple of sessions I think or a session or two um, so deep in the Beremoot swamps uh, stands a ruin forgotten by most inside lives a creature with an insatiable aptitude and its loving mother who cares for naught else but her precious child uh, the ruins are home to a clan of Borgals, a kind of slippery humanoid salamander. Most Borgals in, uh, inside the lair are fed up with the elder mother, um, all consuming obsession with their child, the gobbler, a big toad like creature. They tore it out of respect for her as the clan's leader, but a clever group of players could use this growing resentment to their advantage. So you've got a threat, and then after that, you have. Um, you know reasons to try and get in and if you can see so you've got the you've actually got the, the floor plans there and then underneath you've got a, a cross section you can just see how sort of like uh, smaller location it is uh, and then you have so you've got a also reasons to enter you've got a miss, missing 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 chef you can go after that see the players motivations or the ma major's fortune so a couple of hooks as well take a random random encounters and then we get into the individual locations. What's really nice about this is that um, it's clear, open, and easy to read, and made all the better because it, it, you know you've got the excerpts from the main map. So uh, locations one and two, they're on page on on, on a single page, um, and even though um, um, it, it, rather than referring to this, even though it's quite small. Um, and it does the same thing for the next two locations. Um, and so on, all the way through the uh, dungeon, all the way down to the end. And then over this other side, um, we have the NPC stats. Okay, so um, really, I think this is a, a really nice little adventure that you, it's, it's really quick and easy to prepare. Um, you know, if you've got this and you've got this. I think you could be playing within, uh, you know, um, you've got the openness up, you could be playing within a relatively short period of time. It doesn't take long to create a character, um, and it doesn't really take long to prepare this adventure because um, it's quite small, short, um, um, but should keep, you, you know, your, 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 your players occupied, for, as I say, for a session or two before they go on to something else. Um, so yeah, uh, Death itself, it, it's just, um, you can't see on the back so it just says death is a rules like dungeon fantasy game inspired by the both the new and the old VOSR. in this booklet you'll find quick and easy rules for playing an adventure game of wonder and peril and i think that's probably what it you know quite easily will develop um and it falls into that kind of similar thing as perhaps into the odd or knave um very quick simple uh games um or the black the black hags are a little bit more white hack basically they're a little bit more complex i think than this but only slightly so so yeah if you're looking for a minimalist um uh dungeoneering game um that you can really write your own content for then dirt might well be a, a, um, a, a decent choice um so, so yeah um let's see, let's see if we get the bit of cardboard on back on there for um, putting it all together so there we go. That's 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 dirt. Anyway, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, uh, then please do click on the like button down below. And if you've got any comments or feedback, appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you will see me out here with a parcel, 
and a book or game which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do hit, the, do hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook. Bye for now.